Review of 11, 11, 11. I do have 11, 11, 11. Uh, the week after, hopefully I remember what we did. We were doing, we were doing some things with drags and we did a product at the end. The product that we did at the end was the same as the product we started with today. So I'm not going to review that since we just reviewed it. Um, but we were doing uh, different products, different types of products. The gancho that we did today was the same as last time. I think I said product. Yeah. So uh, we were doing different products. So apart from the ones that we just did, um, which were either, this was the first one we did last week, this and step over, or this with no sandwich and step over. But we also did, uh, those are both cross systems starting out. We did one in parallel systems starting out, which would be like this and behind, cool. and then get out of the way. And really, it's just the same thing. The only tricky part is the only tricky part first, don't switch feet and go instead with this one. I go with this one to this side, and then I'm looking behind. Once I get hooked behind, then that's the hard part. All I do now is kind of lift up, and I'm free, so I just switch from here to here and step back. From there, it's the same. Um, and all that on the other side, too. So here, or there, on the other side. Okay, then we also did some different drag variations where we're doing a drag, a leader drag, and a reverse drag. A normal drag and a reverse drag. How do you get her to follow you when you do a reverse drag? It's all adornment. All adornment. What I'm doing is I'm leading this step and then leading that step. Oh, this okay. is what I'm doing. And your foot just happens to be there. Yes. The there is... Um, Yes, my foot's just kind of along for the right. And here the same thing. When you're doing a drag, it's not um, move their foot. That, that's very uncomfortable. <laughs> so you don't want to drag their foot. Sorry, <laughs> you'll make them fall. So um, you don't want to actually drag their foot. You want to follow them. We're also taking a look at the styling. So when I do a drag, it's a straight line. Same as when the follower's taking their step. It's a straight line. So when I do the drag, so the followers taking their step like this. They're not taking their step like this in a curve. When I do my drag, I want to make a straight line too. So I'm going, and I'm going from this side to that side, like that. Bottom, straight line from here to there, as opposed to this. So it's not flat, and it's not like a windshield wiper type move. It's here. And he goes from there to there. And then we did another drag where we made them step. So here, and then we're coming back, and I'm going to make her step. The way it works is I'm starting to lead her this way, but she can't go because my foot's in the way. So that makes a little bit of pressure. So I'm actually, if I were not there, then she would kind of start stepping that way. But I'm, I am there, so that makes it so she can't go. And now I've got a little bit of pressure between our feet. So I can use that to move her leg around. And then I keep opening, and she takes a step. So this comes from a little bit of pressure. And again, you want to make you want to make it look good. So the key is your legs are moving, your the rest of your body isn't. Yeah, because if you're going like this, it looks kind of goofy. <laughs> so it's a thin line between really cool looking and kind of goofy looking. So you want to keep your legs kind of moving on their own independent of the hips and the rest of the body. And one more thing that we saw, and I'll listen to it, garage, and then I'm stepping around her, so I just stay the same distance from her, and I'm doing, this time actually I'm kind of dragging her foot in, and then I place her by changing her weight, and I'll do it away. Garage, instead of doing a step over anything like that, I'm going to bring her leg 